What made you want to build, I mean, the, the principle is established for this machine. What made you want to use this type of propulsion? Uh, the, and the, I believe it's the green, the green thing, you know. Is, uh, we have environmentally responsible aviation. What is a project developed by NASA, we call ERA. The hydrogen peroxide is something that is everywhere. Okay, so uh, and it's plain uh, available. It's uh, DOT certified for transportation, and uh, is they have an incredible specific impulse. If this technology catches on in this application, where will we find hydrogen peroxide in a concentration adequate to run these tip jets? What is what is the percentage required? Seventy percent. But you can also use them at 50% if you use a biofuel. But it's plenty available in the uh, United States, Europe, uh, in all continents. I mean, each seed, any seed, have a plant of hydrogen peroxide available there. What is not available for the, the general uh, public is the, the rocket grade, um, of course, you know, but uh, when you drop 70% below that, it's completely safety and must be handled appropriately. What do you envision for production? Are you looking for financing at this point to, uh, to further develop this, or is this essentially as developed as it needs to be for production? The helicopter is ready to go to production, and we are accepting order. You reserve your serial number, and it takes like four months to manufacture them and deliver them. And then we have the phase of tests, the traceability to the FAA, right? This is a precaution for, for security. Well, for, if people want more information, how do they reach you? Through the website? Yeah, I would be glad to uh, uh, participate in another project. Uh, if somebody has another type of aeronaut or another idea, and I want to you know, cross information with me, Scott, make a brainstorm or something. I will be completely available, you know, at the, the in the site www.tipjetusa.com. There you have my contact. You just click there, and then you have my email there. And uh, feel free to, you know, get in touch. Let's uh, expand what is good, right? Ricardo, thank you for giving us some of your time. I know you have a lot of people looking at your machine, and uh, thank you very much for coming to AirVenture. I would say thanks very much. I am glad to be here. That's the, one of the major events in aviation that uh, never other place make me happy like to be here now. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.